March of the Goblins and Diablo 4's one year anniversary celebration is underway. The blood of the willing, we call thee home. to see firsthand the fan experience that has made people love this franchise so much. That is just incredible. So did you get a tattoo today? Heck yeah, I did. This is, I think, the most fun I've ever had in Diablo 4. There are literally like goosebumps. I just have to play what my heart wants to play. And I want to play Diablo. You can really create a character that was not available in previous Diablo titles. She looks like me. I need to not die. Oh. <laughs> oh, they were fun to me! <laughs> oh my god, it's actually a butcher! <laughs> he pulled me out of the shield! <laughs> yeah, this is my first treasure goblin game ever! You can pet the dogs, by the way. He's so cute, he's gonna invoke Satan. You're gonna invoke Satan, aren't you? You guys are actually complaining about this event. Now, I got to agree with some of what's being said that it's a lackluster event. And, you know, the event feels half-baked and really low effort. But come on, guys. Are you seriously bitching and complaining about this? We're getting more goblins and we're getting a gold and XP buff. Now... Okay, the bag drops from the goblins started off weak, but there's a hotfix coming out that's going to be fixing that. And irrespective of what the gold and XP and the XP feels good, but the gold feels lackluster, you got to buff it. Like, guys, do you want everything given to you on a silver platter? It is already astronomically like the speed of light to get to 100 already. So even if they were to only give us 2% or 5% of an XP buff, you don't even need it. So I really think all the bitching and complaining that's going on lately is a little rich, if you ask me. Now, I know what you're all thinking. What the hell is Sammy on crack right now? He's actually defending Blizzard. It's not that I'm defending Blizzard. It's more that I'm really SMHing about people complaining about everything lately. Is this what it's gotten to where we literally critique every goddamn move that developers do in a game as something as small as this? Like, yeah, I can sit here and do a 10 minute video on this March of the Goblins and the Diablo 4 anniversary celebration. Sure, I can say that the, the the bags from the Goblins sucked, but apparently they're fixing it. I can tell you that in my experience so far with the March of the Goblins, I haven't really seen that many. I've seen them. There's definitely an increase, but, you know, I thought there would have been more. Yeah, I could probably talk about that. I could talk about the drops not being the best. I can critique the fact that these free items that we're getting, surprisingly, every time you claim the cosmetic item, you have to go to the shop to go claim the item. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. I could critique that and say, look at Blizzard. Of course, in order to they could have just given me the item, but no, they're making us go into the shop. Well, why do you think they're making us go into the shop? They're making us go into the shop because they're hoping out of the hundreds of thousands of players that go into the shop, there's a small percentage that will get sucked in and purchase something. 
yeah, I could critique that. But come on, guys. It's a little rich. We're getting free drops, whether they're good or not. At the end of the day, they're worst case scenario salvage material and the XP and gold increase, good, bad, indifferent, not enough, should be higher, whatever. It's still a bump in gold and XP. What more do you want? Guys are getting to level 100 in six hours. So it's a little rich, this bitching and complaining. And I take you to this. So this is the actual anniversary and these are the cosmetics that we're getting and it's the March of the Goblins and these are the treasure bags we're gonna get. And then there's the mother's blessing, okay? But look at this comment. Blizzard, this one year anniversary is so half-baked and not special at all. Why the low effort? Why the low effort is, guys, season four is a banger. They don't need to do shit for season four. So when it comes to stuff like this, Blizzard, this is low effort. What do you want from them? There's nothing they can do in season four. It's already a success. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's doing alts. So get over it. I'm shaking my head because what we really should be complaining about and what we should really be highlighting is what they need to do moving forward. We're complaining about the little things when really we should be complaining about the bigger things, the bigger ticket items, okay? And that is what they need to do for season five. And again, I'm gonna stick to my guns and tell you that in my opinion, and I know everyone keeps telling me they're not gonna do this in season five. They need, they need, they must, in my opinion, do something with the skill tree and the Paragon board. Oh, Sammy, that's impossible. They can't do it. It's too much of a quick turnaround time. They, they, they need to have already been looking at that. It's probably going to get addressed in the expansion. I can't think of a better link between season four and the Vessel of Hatred than season five focusing on enhancing and building off of season four loot reborn and giving class balance and class diversity vis-a-vis -vis really pimping up the skill tree and the paragon board giving more variety flexibility to all the different classes in diablo 4. i know you guys have heard me say this before i'm going to continue to beat down on this drum i think this is such a great link and would be another i'm going to tell you guys if they were to actually actually do that season five i suspect and i'll put my reputation on the line right now if they do what i just said i guarantee you season five will be even more successful than season four like hands down if they do it right that is so this is what we need to be talking about look obviously the end game is the big elephant in the room but i personally think they're gonna address that big elephant with the expansion at least that's my hope so okay let's go off that premise then what can they do now i'm not talking about quality of life quality of life can always be upgraded and enhanced and they have done some quality of life but i know they need to do more on quality of life but that's like four or five down the road. Loadouts, they need to do loadouts. Like these are the things that I would focus on if I was running Diablo 4. I would focus on season five being enhancing the loot reborn from season four vis-a-vis -vis the skill tree, the Paragon board. And I would put loadouts uh, because now if you do, they all, sync together well and catapult you into vessel of hatred so can you imagine loot reborn we got tempering master working everybody loves the fact that they now can control their loot now can you imagine in season five we now have 
more diverse and um, more layered skill tree and Paragon board, well, what's that going to facilitate? That's going to facilitate players having a lot more options and different builds. Well, when you have a lot more options and different builds, it'd be nice to save these loadouts so you can try all these different builds. But if you have a loadout option and you can save all these different builds, like, do you see where I'm going? There, It's just a natural fit. And then that season five is going to be a banger it'll be better than season four believe it or not so can you imagine the state of diablo 4 at that time and now you're walking in with all that fanfare and like oh my god diablo 4 keeps getting better and better vessel of hatred goes on sale we can talk about and we are going to talk about the pricing the closer we get to it but blizzard you do this you put whatever price you want on the Vessel of Hatred. People are going to pay for it if you do this. Anyway, guys, stop complaining about the small shit. Talk about the big stuff because that's what's going to change the game. This March of the Goblins and the one-year anniversary XP gold buff, it's crumbs, crumbs. I want to talk about the meal, the main course. That's what's important. And that's why I wanted to create this little video. So anyway, let me know what you think. Guys, they're going to fix the, the goblin situation and the XP and gold. Like, yeah, it's half-baked, whatever. Who cares? These are the crumbs. These are, these are the small problems. This is a band. It's a little cut. I want to deal with the big problem, and that is getting this game to a level where it's actually a top-notch ARPG. Anyway, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And just a couple more things. Number one, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate the support. A lot of you watch my videos and you do not subscribe. I would appreciate you supporting the channel and my content and by subscribing. We got some big plans for this channel and the only way I can do that is if we can continue to grow. And for those of you that have supported me and continue to support me, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And don't forget, I stream every evening on Twitch. Sammy Caps, come and check me out. We got to blow it up on Twitch, guys. So please come over on Twitch. Sammy Caps helps support my growth on Twitch. I would appreciate it. All right, everybody. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.